How you going guys? Welcome back to the uh, noisy frickin' electric fence. <laughs> Video 32 of uh, Studio Baker. Uh, there'll be a few to come. I'm just trying to do sit every couple of days, doing up a video, or depending on what I get done in the day. Um, I'm sort of here. I'm trying to be here about five hours a day, because that's just what fits in with family life. Um, with Rachel working, um, if she decides to not carry on working, oh, I can probably come and do this more full time. I'm what they call semi full time <laughs> or semi retired, I suppose. <laughs> not really, but um, yeah, um, yeah, just because she's working full time and working quite big hours. I'm looking after the young fella, so I'm dropping off to school and trying to do other stuff around at home and uh, come here for as many hours as I can between nine and half past two, um, which is not a lot. Um, so I'm just trying to do what I can. Unfortunately, though, I haven't got here until 10 o'clock just because of trying to do other things. Get a few other little jobs and bits and pieces done because the weather was pretty shit at the weekend and it's fine today, so obviously, you know, washing and all that sort of crap, but you don't need to know that. Anyway, so I'll get into um, these front brackets. So in the last video, if you haven't watched that, go back and watch it. Um, I made all these back brackets to stiffen this body up because it's quite flimsy because it's only obviously wood frame and uh, it's not very strong and just need to stop flexing around obviously when people get in here so it's now very very strong um, I could probably put some other little gussets and bits and pieces in it but I don't think it's necessary I did think about putting uh, no, I'll, I'll turn the camera around so down here in this corner, I did think about putting a little gusset in here like that, just to stiffen up, because I can't make them too big. Because I was obviously, um, the interior's got to come around past all that. Um, it sits out a little bit, so you basically only really sort of see the corner of that piece of steel. And that's hidden by the carpet that goes over the top, and that's how it was factory. Um, I've tried to replicate as much as I can factory, if you haven't seen my earlier videos. Um, so I've basically, I've remade this. This was made, um, this, a lot of this wood was redone quite a long time ago, and it was made up to about here. Um, but this back end wasn't on this vehicle. It was originally, but it was turned into a truck a long time ago. Um, and when they remade the wood, they also only made it up to, you know, probably just back about here somewhere. They didn't allow for the front piece. Um, but I've looked at another car. So if you go back a few videos, I went and looked at a um, another one that's almost the same. It's a year um, newer, and it's got a um, like a, a hard top on it, but it's still open sides. Um, but it's timber work come all the way up to here, and then it's got like a little metal bracket that sort of popped out underneath, and then it's like obviously the uh, what do you want to call it? The coach bolt is just sitting up underneath that, and it's. All, it was all originally covered in carpet, but it's worn through because this car is original as as it's it's never been a part in its life. Um, it's just been maintained and kept running, and it's yeah, it's a beautiful old car. Like it's the paint's worn and what sort of thing. The upholstery's worn, but it's really really complete, and it still drives. It's all, still still serviceable. Like I think it's got about fifty or sixty thousand miles on it. So like it's been quite a distance. But it's not really at all, like it's not a lot, but it's been a, like a reasonable distance. Um, but because of its age, it's worn, you know, it's been polished and cleaned like over the years, and you know, it's taken its toll on the paint. You know, 90 year old paint is <laughs> 90 year old paint, you know, it doesn't matter how good it was back then, like it's because it's been polished and cleaned so many times, it's just worn. So, um, yeah, so basically that's what the brackets were like underneath. I don't know what the rest of it was like. We've guessed. Um, and we just <clears throat> we've added and made to try and make it stiffer. Originally I just made these brackets up here and just went here, tried that. Um, it worked, but it wasn't really stiff enough. So I added the little gusset and then we added that piece. Um, and that's made quite a difference. Because um, basically what I did is I pulled this together 
with a ratchet strap just tied between um, see where the little bolts poked up actually there's little brackets sitting on there with a nut I just had a, like a small ratchet strap between I pulled the um, relaxed bodywork in about an inch um, at the top and then um, yeah, proceeded to put all this in, weighed it all in and then when I let it go it only moved back you know, a little bit um, so it was in probably about two inches, yeah it was in an inch at the top and it was come back out probably a quarter of an inch um, from what it was so that's about where I wanted it because it was sort of very floppy and I wanted it pulled in a little bit so I can get the doors a little bit square and straighter which I've still got to work on but the next thing I need to do before I do any final adjustment to the doors is um, you make the bracketry in for in here um, it's bolt, it screws and bolts in on this piece here and underneath and all that sort of stuff so I'll clean all this out um, and we'll have a look and see what we can do because I also want to try and if I can drag this forward a little bit like I'm only talking you know like maybe an eighth of an inch or a sixteenth of an inch just pull this pull it forward just to close the gap up on this door if you haven't seen these videos, if you've seen these videos you know what I'm talking about because I've explained it before but um, there's quite a gap here it needs to come forward um, and that will like help other things here um, it's not, the back door's not really that bad but pulling this forward a little bit and then if I need to I can add a little bit of material on the back I can just I can put a bit of filler rod or something, like a bit of um, proper welding rod on the back and then I can mig it in and just add material, just, you know, add the thickness of a rod on the back and reshape it and, you know, nobody will ever know and that'll close all the gaps up. But I need to pull it forward because it's not right. And this is original, so it's just a matter of getting the body all fitting properly because it's been remade, all the woodwork anyway. So, we'll get into it. I'll stop crapping on. This program should be fairly simple to make. This is basically just that's one bin and a bit of a thing, but I just want a decent plate for here. So, I'll find some hardware and make it. Thing I got today was just I just picked up some cutting discs and grinding discs and a couple of flappy wheels that are here. Make life a little easier. Should break them a bit better. Hang on. Got a couple of batteries from the headlamp. Pretty sure they are flat. <laughs> nah, not even in there. <laughs> It works.
And we'll, we'll quickly sit them in the car and just see if that's how they're going to work. And then I'll bugger the yell for it. And I'll make up those couple of little gussets. Yeah, you know, there'd be a little trimming and stuff to do, but so that will work fine. Same down there, sweet, that'll work. Just needs a little bit of obviously trimming and grinding, make everything fit properly, and then uh, just work out these couple of gussets, and then obviously pull and make all that fit where it needs to be. Because it's all down and loose and whatever. And Nice. Right. Grind up and clean up. Get these fit and properly. So I need about about that much off both of these plates just in here, so just so they sit a bit square. Um, so I'll, I'll probably just grind off that big surface grinder. The other thing I've done, yeah, from that. So I put a, uh, a strap through here. I've just poked it through one of the holes in the pole, and I've just made sure it hasn't done any damage. I've actually got an anchor to the front of the chassis, so it's pulling on that post forward. Um, so now, with the tension I've got on that, so that's okay. That needs adjusting, but it's the gaps are okay. With the, you know, with a with a little adjustment. You now this gap's pretty good too, um, and obviously this door can come out a little bit and back a little bit, just to get it really nice. So that'll close that gap up nicely. So what I close up on here, we'll add to here, and that'll be really nice then. Um, and that will fit good. So hopefully when I get that bracing all made, as long as I leave this one here and get that all screwed in there, that should be sweet then. That should be perfect. I just realized that bottom of this board isn't anchored in. So that whole bit of body can work. So I've got to um, sort that. So I think all I really need to do is just put probably, um, I don't know, six or seven screws across there and just screw it down. And uh, that should be fine. Just I'll just screw it down through to the uh, through here, and maybe some shorter ones just into this timber floor, 
and that'll hold the, all that solid and that shouldn't go anywhere because I just I noticed it wasn't hard up against the back here and it obviously all needs um, nailed so obviously there'll be a, a finishing trim thing down here so I'll nail it down here and I'll also probably um, just smear a little of uh, probably a little bit of body filler or glazing putty or something down there just to hide all this edge and seam seal it all obviously um, and just we'll put a few nails in here nails or screws or something in here just to hold it to the timber work and we're finished you know like this and then that'll be all hidden by probably your finishing trim um, upholstery I'm guessing it was probably fabric I didn't need to that's, there's probably a lot of little things we need to write down and listen when we go have a look at that other car again we can work out exactly what they've done originally but um yeah that's cool I'll get those brackets ground down a bit double check them again make sure they're right double check those fitments are going to work and we'll make a gusset sandblast them weld them drill them and put them on and I think we should be good hopefully this won't move I might just overshoot it one more click when I'll screw it in and weld it together so, it's, so if it's got a little bit of pull back it shouldn't be much and if I need to tweak it from there well I'll just have to tweak it cut it and tweak it but we'll grind this Quite funny, this big grinder, surface grinder, has been bloody handy. <laughs> quick we, we check. Maybe not too deaf. wood to just a little here all that it's pretty good just gonna trim Might just take a little bit more off them just so they're not just quite so tight. And I'll just I, um, nick the back quarter of an inch, half an inch off the back of this wood here before. Uh, but I don't think it'll matter if I do the same on the other side just to give me a little more clearance. Yeah, I'll just grind a little bit more off that and we'll be golden on it. Right? Right, it's made up of, I've just, I've given these two pieces here a bit of a twist back in that corner and I'll just put a couple just gentle um, print the vice just gave it a couple of gentle wax just to put a little curve in and diagonally and just bend this corner back a little bit on both so I've just made a quick little template up for a, for a gusset in this corner so I've just checked it on that side it fits pretty good that side and I think that'll do this side and also I think what I'll do I'll try and um, Maybe see if I can get a screw in here when I finally put it together. And then maybe sort of, you know, one or two in here just to help hold all this together. I might put even put a little square of timber in here. Glue it in here. And maybe put a, you know, a screw in here or something like that just to help support all that. And then tie it into that, you know, tie it into that gusset. And that'll really stiffen that corner up those corners up and hopefully nothing should shift after that so I'll get these couple pieces made sandblast all six of these bits tack them together see if I can come up with just a little piece of triangle wood and put it in this corner and just give it a quick rough up a little bit of sandpaper and blow it out and see if that uh, construction adhesive that I used to laminate those other bits together is still free enough and I'll just glue those pieces in there and there.
that's probably what I'll do is I'll screw all this together and then glue it in there and then bang another screw in here I'll make another screw on here and, and obviously put a couple of screws down through there right at some point too and that should be really really stiff in that corner so I'll just I'll whip these up I'm not going to worry about showing you you know you've seen me cut a thousand pieces of steel out now so I'll just I'll make a couple of, a couple of these and uh, we'll come back right I'm going to quickly try and drill some holes in one corner anyway because I'm running out of time before lunch I want to get this, these done together today. I might come back tonight because I know I'm going to run out of time. So, I'm at this point so far. Um, I added an extra screw in there just to help pull this corner in um, because this thing wants to flop around a lot because it's not anchored in. But with that welded and that screwed into there and then screwed along there, the back of this will never move. So, that's cool. So, what I'll do is when I weld it, I'll try to remember to pull a bit of tension on that just to hold it back. And um, I'm welded in there, so basically I'll just I'll give it some big burly tacks in the corners, you know, and then pull it out, weld it all together, screw it back in there. Right, only other issue now is I'm going to be out of bloody screws. Um, I think I've only got a couple. Yeah, I've only got a couple left. Right, so I, take, I might take one of them home. Um, so what have we got left in here? Yeah, you know, I've got to use them all. Um, I don't know if I've got another. It's just I was just using stuff that it was floating around here. Um, I'm not going to worry about it now, but I'll, I'll have a look at home. Pretty sure there's a heap of that sort of stuff at home. So I'll just grab a, a few so I can get this side done. There's bits and pieces in here, but they're all random. Some of them are square heads, some of them are Phillips head, and then there's like a lot of other just shit. It's basically just a few thrown on top. Um, if I do happen to come across some. All sorts of crap and boxes and shit out here everywhere. But yeah, I'll grab a few from home, keep that one in the pocket, and then I'll remember. So yeah, I want to get this done today. Um, I'll, I'm going to struggle by the time I get to three, but I'll, I'll be, I won't be far away. Or well, by half past two, I should say. I'll try being reasonably quick having lunch and come back and see if I can get this together. And if I don't get it fully done, I'm going to come back and weld it up both them up properly. Um, I'll just sandblast the edges so I can do it quicker. I'll just, you know, fully sandblast. I've got to clean all this crap up properly anyway, you know. Give it another cl real good clean up and so I can paint it and whatever. But yeah, I want to get this together so I can let this go to see whether I need to do anything else to it. But I think this should be enough. Have some extra bit of timber in the corners, screw all that all together, screw this together, make sure this is together properly. All those sorts of things. I don't think this will move, but I don't know. But anyway, I think that should be enough. And I don't think those gussets will cause too much of a problem with the seat. If I put another big piece, if I glue a piece of timber in here, it's about the same height. And um, that's why I've got an extra screw in there, cause I want to, so I can screw it in there. And then bang a couple of good screws in that way and that way. I think it will be beautiful. I really do. So cool. We'll, um, we'll see you after lunch. Well, so back to Mike's just draw these final few holes, quick sandblast and then hopefully uh, weld. Sandblast. Screw in place and glue together. Right, we'll screw these bits in and uh, yeah, get it welded together.
unscrew it and weld them together. See you shortly. So I'm just going to have a quick grind up on a couple of these edges just to give me a little more penetration when I grind it back. Um, I'm going to take a chunk off this corner because it's overlapping quite a bit. These ones here aren't too bad. I might grind it back a little bit here. So I can get some real good penetration. And then make it strong because I don't want to grind it off the weld off and then it's, you know, it just um, breaks away. Again, guys, so I'll just shut back down here. I want to try and get these uh, brackets finished welded up in, in the car and make sure that it posts not enough shift. And if it is, then I can deal with it tomorrow. And just so I'm not trying to make that tomorrow and then trying to work out what to do. At least that gives me the whole data, like the whole time that I'm here to work out what I need to do if it shifts. And it won't halt. So I just want to try and get this done because there's not a lot. And it, yeah, it's probably you know, an hour and a half or something like that, just to try and finish this off if I can get it done. So, I'll sit the phone here and get wet. If there's enough light over here for you. Well, hopefully you can see this. <coughs> it's not too bloody dark for you.
Righty. So, what are we going to see? Let's see if this moves much. It's actually funny. These doors, now with this post pulled forward, are exactly the same from the front end of the door to this red, or to this piece of 649 millimetres. Um, so, let's let this go. Let's see if it moves. <laughs> Move back three mil. Um, it's not bad. It's not as bad as it was. It's not perfect. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, not too bad. It's not as bad as it was. Like it was. Bloody, like it was just about, you know, well, probably was an extra three mil back. It would be nice if it stayed. Um, I probably should have went out a little bit extra before I wanted it to get it. Um, and it's back. It was 649, and it's now. Yeah, it was 649, it's now 651 and a half. Let's move to that two and a half mil. This isn't much, it's been in a door gap, but it can make a difference. You know, like it's a little, it's, I don't know, what it's probably 16th of an inch or whatever it is. You know, whatever the conversion is. Um, hmm. screws in the space, weld those holes up, re-drill them in a different spot. Now you can just move them a little bit, like bite some of the wood in a different place. I've got a little bit more paint on here, and screw them in, and then let it go. I could do that tomorrow. Yeah. That's about 640, 80 of it, 57 and a bit, is it? It's longer. Yeah, it's about 640, that's snake over 647, that's 647 and a half, so it's about an inch to one and a half mil this way, like that. Um, if they're not, whether it make any difference or not, they're not. I could try. It's not as bad as it was. Mm. If I get a little bit out of here, I'll probably add it. The middle side of here, and that'll pull that back. And if I have to, I can just add a little bit of material to the, to the edge. Space. Piece. I can just push this door this way a little. And I'm going to have to. Uh, this out probably a shin. Anyway, at the top. Oh, that's cool. I've done what I needed to do, or what I wanted to do. Um, I'm reasonably happy. I possibly should have just, yeah.
pulled it a little bit tighter before I welded it up, but I thought that might have been enough. Not much else I can do about it. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll leave it there. Done what I wanted to do. It's better than it was, I think. I'm pretty sure the gap's way bigger than that before. Um, yeah. So it's had to move back to about two and a half, didn't I? Stick it that way. Might be this. Mm. Is that the. Mm. Might the door. It looks like someone better get. Uh, <laughs> we'll get it. We'll get it close. Yeah, the door's got to come back anyway. Or a bit. Not quite a bit. Need a couple of mil here and open that up and kill them a couple of mil. Or well, I might even maybe need a mil. Well, a mil and a half, that sort of thing. That might be just enough to balance those out. Anyway, it's better than it was. Stronger than it was. It's the main thing. Alrighty, guys, catch you later on. Cheers.